There are seven free tools that I use all the time as a property investor, and you should too. I'm gonna to not just tell you what they are, but I'm gonna give you my top tips for using them as well. First is a tool that gives you an advantage over estate agents. It's a browser extension for Chrome that works on Rightmove, and it's called Property Tracker. There are others like this available, so you can do your research and find one you like. Once you've installed it, as you browse Rightmove, it'll show you the price change history for each listing which is super useful because it tells you how much the price was cut by and when, which can give you useful clues about how motivated the seller is. So you can focus your efforts on listings where there's been a recent price drop because they're most likely to be open to doing a deal. And it also means that if estate agents give you the normal line about there being loads of demand, you'll know that they're not quite telling the truth. The second tool is essential for when you're researching a new area. It's called streetcheck.co.uk and there are three cool things you can do with it. So first you put in a postcode, then you can go to employment and see how many people in this area are in different types of work, what they do, what their socioeconomic classification is. You could also go to housing to see what type of housing dominates that area and whether people tend to own or rent socially or privately, which gives you clues about what an area is like. You can also go to crime and get a pie chart of all the different types of crime that are happening in an area and a map of exactly where they are. You need to be aware that this looks a bit scary for any area the first time you look at it, so don't be too alarmed. The third tool is a free spreadsheet that we put together for running the numbers on any property deal. We'll link to it below, you don't need to enter your email address or anything, and we've put together a video showing you exactly how to use it, which we'll link to below as well. And while you're on our website, if you do want to give us your email address so you get our completely free weekly newsletter with all the latest property news, you can do that at propertyhub.net slash pulse. Next up is one that saved me a few times when I've had an emergency maintenance issue, which is ratedpeople.com. And there's a few alternatives to this that you can explore as well. The way this works is you can add the job that you want doing and tradespeople can get in touch to quote. And when they do that, they obviously want the job, which means you don't have to spend ages ringing around on the off chance. You can check their reviews and their insurance before you give them the job. And then of course, if they're good, you'll have them in your phone for next time. Next up are AI tools, and there are loads of these. You'll have heard of ChatGPT, of course, but the key with these tools is to know which one to use for which job, because they all have different features. For example, Bard from Google uses current Google data, so it's good for research that needs to be up to the moment. For example, while you're researching, you could ask what are the fastest growing areas of the UK? It gives you an answer. Then another cool feature is you can use this double check response option where it runs another Google search to check for accuracy and provides its sources. So you can be pretty confident that what it's telling you is correct. You can also use Claude, Claude.ai, which is useful because you can give it absolutely loads of input. So if you want to upload a long document, maybe a research report, then it can summarize and analyze that for you where other AI tools can't. You can also use good old ChatGPT, but using its advanced data analysis plugin, which allows you to do some really cool stuff. For example, here, I've just downloaded some data from the land registry, uploaded it and just said, please analyze it and tell me what you notice. And then it's given me a load of results, including graphs and all sorts. You can do some pretty powerful research here. Next is a tool for finding potential properties, which you will have heard of, it's Zoopla. But I think not a lot of people realize it's a really powerful alternative to Rightmove. What I like about it are the filters you can get up, which have more options than Rightmove does. Also, it's keyword search, which you can access from the same place, I've found to be more accurate. Also, when you go into a listing, I find the market stats box pretty useful, but you always want to take things like estimated values with a pinch of salt and do your own analysis. Finally, there's another research tool. You've probably heard of HomeTrack. We talk about it on the podcast a lot, but most people don't know that this feature exists. So go to latest news, house price index, scroll down and see the latest data. And this shows you a table, which is useful in itself, but you could also go and look at an interactive chart. This is great for looking at the history of a particular city versus others, or even against the UK average. So tools like this are great and I use them all the time, but they'll only get you so far. You also need a solid process for each of the major tasks you'll need to carry out as an investor. And one of the most valuable processes you can have is one that you can use to assess the price of a property and make sure you don't overpay. So watch this video next, where I walk you through the exact process we use to do just that.